everyone, in today's video I have a set of nails I did on my friend, the ring finger I did in a nude colour, nude 07. Also if you see any stains on her natural nails, uh, it's just some um, for a fake tan on her nails, they stained them. The grey, the light grey that I'm using is A66, and then on all of the other fingers, like the three other fingers, I'm using 805. Well, what was that 80586? I don't know, it was on the screen. And it will be in the description box, which is like a really, really dark blue gray color. I don't know what you else you would describe that as. Either way, it is pretty. All of these colors are from Blue Sky. And um, yeah, on the thumb, I am actually putting a glitter over the top of that. So it doesn't actually have to be this color. You could use a, any color. But um, I just use this because I had it in my hand. So I did uh, two coats of the two uh, greys, well, the two other colours, and I did three coats of this nude, and then I'm doing a, well, I made a mistake, I wiped it off, and now I'm doing a, like, pattern. This set of nails is inspired by a picture that my client friend found on Pinterest. Uh, the picture didn't have any watermark though, so I don't know who it came from. Um, but if you know who it came from, let me know and I will put them in the description box. But it's basically like a lacy kind of pattern. Um, quite a few curved lines and I'm not the best at curved lines. So this was a little bit difficult for me, I guess I would say. It looks really beautiful in the picture and I think I did an okay job. But there's basically this triangle section at the bottom that was filled with um, crisscross stuff. Well, you can see it. I use my silicon tools throughout to kind of push any lines that go out of place. Um, then the next section is like another kind of soft triangle. I'm saying soft triangle because it's not like a straight line triangle. It was more of like a curvy triangle. Like, I, I don't know what you call that. This triangle. And then had these like... I don't know what any of these things are called. Like a... I don't know. Like a, a petal shape with a dot in the middle is that the thing I yeah that is what we did I accidentally made the space between the first little triangle and the second triangle too big so I ended up having to fill this with dots which wasn't like in the picture but I wasn't about to wipe this whole thing off and redo it just because I made the space too big and I think it was fine the nails in the picture that we were working from were also a little bit longer so I, I don't know, nails never turn out exactly like the picture. Even if I had done the picture that she brought in, I don't think I could have recreated it exactly the same. So the third row, like I'm putting this into three sections, is like like a, a leafy vine thing. So I did two, again, kind of curvy triangle, but um, I overlapped the, the ends and made them into leaves and then just basically made more leaves on the top and the bottom of this line. I didn't really have any, um, I don't know, yeah, I was just kind of going from the picture and to me it looked like there were a whole bunch of leaves and uh, that, that's what I did. I'm probably not explaining this very well but hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm also not very close to the nail but I was using another um, filming setup like a different tripod thing it's not a tripod it, it, it's a thing that clips onto the table and at some points I did knock it so it got a bit wobbly so sorry if that is the case oh by the way I am using um blue skies like drawing gel or I don't know what they call it that the, the stuff that is a gel but a paint gel paint that's what they call it and uh yeah so I cured that completely and then I came back and did some dots like I said, I felt like the gap between the two se the two first sections was too big and too white. I think it also came down to the fact that like her the white of her nail was showing through there as well, so it just looked really like bright white. Um, so yeah, I kind of just filled that in with dots as well, and I actually ended up coming back and doing the dots a bit bigger. I feel like my accent is all over the place in this video. Sorry if it is. If you didn't know, I sometimes have a New Zealand accent and sometimes I have an English accent and sometimes I don't know if I'm controlling it. Not that I try and control it, but sometimes it just does what it wants to do. 
So yeah, I, I, I went back and did the dots bigger because on the other hand, I made the dots bigger and I like the way that hand looks um, more. I also just in general liked the other hand better. Obviously, it must have been because I wasn't filming it, you know? Or maybe because I'd already done a practice one. Yeah. Um, so I'm using Lacente Pewter Ultra Fine Glitter on the thumb and just, yeah, covered the whole nail. That's that's pretty simple. We just thought we'd add in a bit of glitter. And the, the thumb wasn't pictured in the... Um, original inspiration picture and yeah I just double top coated that nail so that the glitter was smooth and I also double top coated the art finger the ring finger because I wanted to make sure or like try and minimize the fact that there was like lumpy gel not lumpy but be but because it's it's a 3d nail you can see like I don't know. <laughs> it's made with a because it's got gel paint on it that is a layer thicker than the stuff underneath. If you only do one top coat, sometimes you can feel a few uh, bits that are bumpy. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all, but I just wanted it to be as smooth as possible, so I did two top coats on it, and yeah, that that's what I did. And then I added top coat to all of the nails a uh, final time. I hope that uh, made sense to you, but it probably didn't. Anyway, what else did I do? That that's that's all that I did. I did forget to take a final um, like video of the finished nails, but I have some pictures that you can see, um, and you can also go check out my Instagram, my nail Instagram, if you want to see the pictures there. I will put them up probably before this video. So um, yeah. That, that's pretty much all for this video. I don't know what else there could be, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.